Hello, Spaceman. Thank you for the follow. If you have anything, anything, anything else to ask me, just type in the chat. And I'll make sure to answer it as fast as possible. Also, this game I'll be making commentary. So you guys, I'm quite sure, will enjoy it. Quite a bit. So against Thorn, a fairly simple matchup. First space for his Q. About his W, we can use the minions or dash on top of him to, to dodge that. And whenever he has used his Q and we are around it, we can bait him to use his E. Get out of the knock range and go for an extended fight. Early on, I will have to let him push towards me. Ideally, I would like to get the wave to, to pull the wave so he can start to slow pushing towards me. So the minions to meet here, the first wave. And for it to start slow pushing towards me, right? So level 1, level 2, I will be fairly inactive. And about level 3, I will be looking to make some more trades. Unfortunately, we'll have to leash. So we won't be able to pull the wave. But if Orn is going to leash as well, he will get a push advantage, which is what I'm looking for. In shadows, they hide from darkness. Ganks are going to be fairly easy to outplay as well. Considering my W, you can block quite a bit of their stuff. So I can block all the outposts from, from Graves. Excuse you. And Graves W as well, the smokes smokes from. I walk the path of disorder. And on Q as well. So this guy is leashing too. Make sure I only last hit the minions. This here is fine. Inside the bush to drop some aggro. The light cannot hold and now I can just simply be I looking to contest the minions like that. It, or at least it'll force him to use his Q to get the to get the last hits. Make sure I am far enough, so I do not pull minion aggro, which will make the push towards me much much slower. He gets level 2 here as well. I will sit here so I can force him to use his Q, hit me and the minions as well at the same time. Which unfortunately he's not really going for. Nice to down. That's what I like. I want to bait out abilities so he can hit my wave and make the push to be towards me. Just like that. Good. Chaos flows in all directions. Fine, grabs his bot lane. I'm not this point, I can be looking for the all in. Take him out, perfect. So, he didn't really respect my early game damage, as we saw, he hit the back immediately. And because he stayed for the fight, we were able to get the kill. Quickly get the wave to push in. I don't think he's really gonna be looking for the freeze here. What he's doing here is sort of fine. He lost quite some HP trying to freeze this wave and it's still crashing. So perfect, getting the, the crash and now the recall. Will result into me being able to recall, buy items and come back to our lane, which is going to be slow pushing towards me. Let's see if he's slow pushing. So it seems like that's the case, just getting an item. And his wave clear is not really that strong, so he can do QW, but that's it afterwards. For the autos to do on every single minion, it will take him so much time that the cookie is going to be expired. So this is going to be a slow push towards me 100%. In the meantime, if I walk up to line right now, there's nothing for me to do. I can really make a decent trade. So I'm going to go for a vision, but we can see that Graves is over at bot side. Maybe Scuttle is up. Since Graves will head it from top side to bot side, and now he's on bot, on bot side again, yep. So here's Scuttle, we can do Scuttle in the meantime. And as you can see, Orn is still slow pushing towards us. The new life is coming. Get the last hit. 
And now once we come back to lane, we need to thin out the wave so we can make the wave manageable. Otherwise, the wave, the whole wave is going to become way too big. This hero is completely fine. He has no flash. And now we can be looking for the all-in. Get the critical hit as well. And get the quick kill as well. Right? So this is what I'm aiming for basically in this in this lane to let him push towards me and I can have enough space to chase him afterwards and considering his cooldowns are, uh, are down or like are up I guess we say for his flash it becomes very easy for me to chase him down afterwards and get the kill get the last hit and I won't really stay for the plate I haven't really been paying attention to the meme map to see where this Graves is okay he's mid lane and this player was going to take, to take me some time to, to take down, so I'm not really gonna be looking for that. So double potion with long sword and boots. The next time I crash the wave and he and Orin is not at lane, I will be able to get this player fairly easy. Like two autos, let the wave do the rest of the damage, and get the recall if I will have to get the recall. If not, just simply stay for the for the second plate as well and keep on going. There is scuttle still up but it's expiring very soon again if we walk up here there's nothing for Only us to do so go get some vision down maybe we can spot graves as well doing his camps on top side there was a plant a blue is spawning so graves should be on top side anytime soon gromp is down we place a quick ward so we can, so we know if graves will be coming towards top side or if he will be on bot if he doesn't appear within 20 to 30 seconds on top side it means that he is still on bot side Looking for a gank on bot lane and a potentially to play for the Drake as well. I am the wind of Here I'm not really gonna be looking for any trades because the wave is not far uh, far enough for me. Okay, so he goes on bot lane. Now if I go for a trade, I don't I don't really have that much space to trade in. Just like before, so I will need the wave to be approximately here or like closer to my tower. Wave coming towards me. This is a freeze, and now whenever he's gonna be walking up, we can be looking to punish him. I knew he was gonna be walking up for that. Put a very nice trade here. And back away immediately. This is still a frozen for me, which is perfect. Now he either recalls and loses a bunch of minions or he stays at lane and when he will stay at lane he will either come on vision so like he will be walking up like this or he will go through the bushes so that's why I place down this this ward over there he's walking up for this minion I don't really have that much space to chase there Graves is here we can be looking for the kill on him I didn't really have to use any summoners as well, or actually a flash, that's what I mean by summoners. And me pulling this, getting this freeze over there pulled so so much pressure that Grace was forced to come on top lane and try to break the freeze, which opened up the opportunity for me and Silas to get the kill on either both of them or at least one of them. In this case it was on Graves. Mid lane is dunkable. This is 100% a kill for me. As long as I will have some, uh, I will have enough space to chase him. Fortunately, Graves is here. Save my flash for his ultimate. I can be looking to play around the minions in here. And a perfect Q3 for. For Swain over there to combo it with the chain from Silas. Okay, we're looking to shove in this wave actually. I think I'll be able to shove it in in time. Not quite sure actually, but I would try my best. 
to get the cost as quickly and get cannon with my nado. Unfortunately, it was big guns on both lanes. I think this should be a kill for Silas. This it should be. Very nicely done. I think she traded one kill. Get that, this, this, and go back to mid lane. Gray, I mean, Silas. Silas? Graves? Jace. Jace is doing quite good against Orn. And we can stay for a bit in mid lane against Swain while Jace is on top lane. We'll be looking for another freeze in here. Swain making a, rot uh, a roam slash rotation will give him nothing out of value. Get the Q3. And they clean kill on this guy. Just have to be careful for Graves because my W is down. Plate is going to fall very soon for I can be looking for. Like an outro or two. And if Graves actually comes, I can... I think he's there. I heard the sound animation from his Q. Yeah. And about this guy, I can 100% fight him with my W and... Ignite. Just need to make sure that I, don't, I did not give him an opportunity to... Nicely done. Bet out his ultimate. I know my limits here, so time to back away. I'm not typing because fingers dirty of Tortilla, but you're playing for the nice one. Thanks so much. I can't really stay here. I'm not quite sure why he keep you not all playing, but it's kind of whatever at this point. I won't sell my control ward. I need 1200 if I'm not mistaken. For sure, but yep, so. Another 200 gold. We'll have to stay mid lane for a tiny bit more. I'm bench with fight twice and 61. So well done. I will break them all. Quickly get this wave. I would like to come back to go back to top lane. That's a pretty nice timing for us to swap. He might be getting ganked. Yeah. But I think he should be out. No big issue for, for him. Hold on. We have to just make sure that we get the kill on Graves. The kill on this guy will not really be doable. I will not like to dive him, he has quite some armor. Alright, a really nice Q3 by me. The prediction of his movement was very precise. And now if Graves comes, quite doable for me to 1v1 him with red buff to slow him and W to bluff basically everything that he has. It's trying missing, but haven't really spotted him on the river ward. I'm looking for the first tower here. Seems like Graves is on both sides for Drake. Get the tower quickly before I recall. This is first tower, and actually, I can, I can, I can, and I can actually stay on top lane for a tiny bit more because everybody is on both side. I can get the whole top side jungle of Graves, which will be great. Make sure to cross the wave. I don't really care about this guy. So get Grump, get Blue Buff, get Wolves, and then I'm going to be looking for the vehicle. No one can stop him at this point. Janna dead, Sana dead. Grace will most likely die as well. Okay, I'm looking to go for the for the for the fight with this guy, but he, it's kinda pointless. He's quite some armor and it's better for me to get the resources from Graves uh, jungle. So 
forget that, completely uncontested. This is going to be a contested as well. I will leave one wolf up too. Place down the ward as well so we can see whenever this guy will be coming back towards top side. Quite sure there is a ward in here. He was most likely going to be in the bush. Like one of the bushes or maybe he went towards the river but I don't really care. It will take me quite time to kill him and he's not really that worth it right now. I will get the Rickle with the next wave because th th those two waves will meet approximately at this point. Well, if one wolf won't you take, uh, won't you want to take them again? It is quite likely that Graves will come on top side and he will check it for himself. Here, I simply save W for the ultimate just in case it's going to go out. Maybe they're going to be looking for a fight on me, not quite sure. I will let him take the wave. It's not really to the point where I can actually have control of Graves' topside jungle. So that's why I really don't bother taking his last wolf. It's only 12 gold. And again, it's like very, very likely that he will go over there, check it, and take it quickly for himself so he can make the camp reset and take it a tiny bit later on. So this way I'm forcing Graves to spend, to spend slash waste some time just for one small wolf to make the camp reset. So push this wave, push the next one, there is two raves over right mid there with Swain. I need to take a look at the minimap right now and spot where everybody is going to be at. Can use Gromp over here to dash over the wall when everyone will come. It seems like he will be going towards mid lane. He didn't show up for quite some time. Okay, here he, here he is now. I'm looking for something here to help my, my teammate out. Yeah, that's my bottom. I don't know it. You get the knock up so he won't be able. Yep. So he won't be able to get his ultimate off. The second part. We need to be careful here. Go for the Grump. Actually, I will use the Grump for a dash. I will get Grump a tiny bit later on. Use my W to get Vision. Get Grump quickly before I recall. And at this point I'll just recall, get my IE and I'll start building towards Hullbreaker because I'm so fucking strong that they can't really deal with me on the side, it's only one of them. Or like, or like even two of them, it's very, it's going to be very, but very difficult for them to do anything against me. So I'll be able to pull quite some pressure off this way. The final twilight gonna get red buff, gonna keep on pushing top lane and I would prefer to go bot lane once I get my Hullbreaker or preferably once I get the tier to top, top lane tower because it is worth 600 gold. Don't make a Yasuo, don't make a Yasuo, indeed. Black people are, are usually stupid. I don't know about that. There is Scuttle up as well, go get Scuttle quickly before I go back to top lane. I can be looking for Graves over here. Use the trinket for our bait. Nice. 
my internet kind of fucked up. Only the broken. At this point, we can simply go for bottom. Graves is super low on HP. Me, Nami, and Salas do Baron without any issues. There's also Drake, which Ash can do by herself, I'm quite sure. The Baron, top lane for much gold I need for Hellbreaker, let's see. 1925 1925 which means another 800 Get the wave Somebody is gonna be moving up towards top side Get my Q stocked up right now So there's Graves he Might be looking for the ultimate or not Regardless for me, just the ignite just to make sure that I get the kill. Uh, unfortunately, the the jump panel it fucked me up. I was gonna be able to kill Senna there and get uh, the other kills as well, but yeah, unfortunate. I kind of messed up there too. At least me pulling so much pressure on top lane, killing one guy in, and occupying three more gave my teammates the opportunity to push both lane and open up their base. Potentially this is game as well if they do play it good. Very nice skill shot over there by Silas. They can get at least one Nexus Tower I believe. If they focus the ton a bit more, but seems like that will not be the case. Because of what Silas and Sanadi and Jace did. But they're able to make it back. And now at this point this should be game. They should be able to end I believe there is a weapon coming. So this tower goes down. Yep, and this is game. Unfortunately we can end the game with a perfect KD. Oh, you are mother. He's very mother. I'm looking to make a trap here for somebody of them. Like for someone of them. Two guys over there, one guy's over there. Swain is going towards top side, I guess. And no one has 10 more seconds on his timer. I'll be quite safe here, considering I have Hollow Breaker as well. With the resistances it gives me. That's fine, flash is down, perfect. I would like my team to pressure mid lane and then go on top. Or at least push him and get a big wave and play it off together. Let's wait for my team to get close to the base so they can pressure as well. And then I can start looking up as well. GG, thin game. Thin game for, for the most part, a very small mix, very few as well, but for the most part, it was a very good game. Spaceman, you can request a lesson on skill cap so I can accept it and we can start off the lesson.